The new Silhouette machines announced at Silhouette Summit have a new electrostatic mat. It is going to be able to hold thin materials without using an adhesive cutting mat. It works with static electricity. It is going to take practice in using this. This is showing the portrait and I have a the live demo from the Silhouette Summit yesterday and I have tips for when things go wrong. But to get it to fully stick, you want to make sure that you just rub out any air bubbles, build up a static charge through the whole thing. Okay, so we're looking at the Cameo 5 with the electrostatic mat system. This is a base here that you is additional purchase, and you have a protective sheet on this mat. You have to use this protective sheet on the mat. If you do not, and you try to touch the machine without the protective sheet, it will shock you because it is electric. So you need to keep your electrostatic mat and you need to replace it if you are cutting through it. You should not cut through it. You can see the lines here, just like a normal mat after many cuts. Yeah, it's got a little power slot similar to this that it plugs into right here, so there's no excess cords or anything like that. So. Not like this sheet, oh, sheet over that has it. Exactly, where it's got its own separate thing, nothing like that. So it is powered. He's going to load the base. He did say that so, you want to smooth your materials down yeah, onto the back. you any air bubbles, you build up that static field, and then you just push it up so it's touching the rollers, just like you would a mat. It's actually a little easier to load than if you're doing it by hand. And then you feed it on in, and then it's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and send a design. We're cutting out one of these very thin with cardstock to help show how much easier it is to work with than if you're trying to do something with a sticky tack mat, where once you've cut it out, it's going to be terrible to remove from the mat, and then also you have to scrape off all the extra pieces. With this one, the cleanup is much more simple. So, Okay, so this on. is the thickness of the cardstock. It is probably uh, less, 65 or less. 65 pound. Right here, I lost some of that static charge, but it should still cut just fine. So you need to make sure that there's no air bubbles underneath it, and you do need to use that uh, protective mat and buy replacements. Have replacements on hand, because if it does stop working, you need to have the like, protective sheet on there in order for it to function. And if you touch that base without the sheet on it, he uh, lifted it up and had me touch it and it does shock you, kind of like when you stick your tongue to a battery. So it is cutting. Much quieter than before. It is loud in here. We'll see when we get back to my studio with the Cameo 5, the uh, sound, but you don't hear the screeching. It doesn't sound like a robot. It doesn't sound like an alien. Again, it is allowed in the conference center, but very sleek. It is cutting very, very well. Here are a few of the other ones that he's cut as a demo today. Yeah, we cut out some of these, and then also last night we spent much more time cutting out this kind of big project. Yes, these are some of the most difficult ones to put together. So they cut it last night and put it all together. Yeah. But yeah, we've just been doing some very simple, simple awesome. per se, but definitely fragile. Intricate. Yeah, intricate materials. On thin cardstock. Yeah, so it's finishing up right here. Uh-oh, no. Okay, here is where you need to pay attention. This if, was due to the air bubble yep. being at the bottom. So that we needed to rub out much more smoothly there. It's going to happen. When it does, he's going to show us how to fix it. So we pop that up and then we feed this guy out through the bottom here. And then once this is fed out, we can take the excess material and just bring it out through the back. What's a shame is it, did, it finished that whole project, but right there at the end, it was when it was It got caught right here. That it had the issue. It got caught on the very corner because the paper wasn't held down by the electrostatic. Exactly. And but, it's going to happen to you. It, 100%, it's going to happen. You clean your machine out. To show a good example though, as far as the cleanup, the really part that's nice is it still has the charge from the cut job, so we'd just be peeling up from the corner. And then let's say we got some more 
gunk on there that usually with the mat you'd have to scrape off. Right. It Instead, just said it loses its charge, so you just get to lift it up. You can remove your finished project, which ours was almost done. It was very, very it close. Was so close. And then you remove that and then your excess material. And instead of having to scrape it off, you can just dump it right into the trash can. Perfect. So if you go back and watch that video, you can see exactly where the corner of that sheet of paper, yeah. all it did, it got stuck right here on the roller. So you, this is why the protective mat and having a good um, stick down is very, very important. Um, you know, when we're demoing this, he's been demoing it a lot today. So by the time they're finished this weekend with the demo, I imagine there's going to be another electrostatic mat unpackaged and keep those on hand. Just, it's going to happen. You're going to have um, things that you run into. Everybody does. It's, you know, videos aren't perfect all the time, 100%. So we all have issues, but just keep going, testing and pushing buttons.